Okay. Um, well, um, proud of the uh, effort and fight as I've been all year. Um, thought our guys really played hard um, from start to finish. Um, you know, give credit to Kyle and his group. They did a, you know, as they always do. Um, it's one of the, it's one of the best teams in the National Football League, and it's one of the best coach teams in the National Football League. So, um, you know, Kyle, D'Amico, uh, all of them. You know, they do a really good job, and I uh, thought they did a good job today of you know battling back and find some things to uh, that, that that they could go to so as the game wore on. But um, you know, they just they made a few more plays than we did. Uh, it's disappointing. Um, we're not we're not gonna you know be big on moral victories or anything like that. But uh, I do credit the effort and the, and the competitiveness of our team. I thought we had great leadership and energy this week, and it showed today. And um, you know, but I wouldn't expect anything less from this group. So. Josh, since you got here, you've talked about the future. It's been continually that way. I know it's week 17, but is this offense now, are people, Raider Nation able now to kind of get a view of where it's going, where you're taking it? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, look, Darren is now healthy and, you know, kind of back. And, um, you know, Hunter, same thing. And, and obviously, Tay's, you know, been that way all year. And JJ and, um, <clears throat> you know, so I, you know, I think that's the the goal would be to you know try to you know get all of them involved. They're all very skilled, um, you know, and and I thought our offensive line did a decent job, you know, for the most part against a great front. I mean, that's that's as good of a front as there is. Um, so, um, you know, look, we got another game to go this week, and we're going to do everything we can to put out our best effort and win the game against Kansas City next week. And obviously, we have things we will look forward to uh, as we move into the off season. Jared said put up big numbers today um, against a, a pretty good defense. Um, I, I know yep. the outcome isn't what you all wanted, but what did you think of his performance overall? Yeah, I thought Jared put in a great week of work. Um, you know, the uh, he knows obviously he knows what to do. Uh, he's been uh, in our system a long time and and has that grasp of it uh, and understands what to do. And I uh, thought he you know executed a lot of things the right way today. Uh, gave our guys a chance to make some plays. Um, you know, down the field, uh, you know, I thought he did a good job of really, he skipped third down in the first half for the most part. We didn't hardly have any uh, third downs, but, um, you know, he, he had a, a solid performance, I think, for his first start. Um, you know, I'm sure he'd be the first one to tell you that, those, you know, the turnovers you want back, uh, there was definitely obviously some other things involved in those turnovers. Um, but I thought, you know, leading our team, um, his energy, his Communication. I thought we had good rhythm, um, you know, and obviously you can tell the the guys really, you know, they played well for him and played hard for him, and um, you know, as as they should, you know, and so um, it didn't surprise me that he was ready to go and played, you know, the way that he played. Um, that is a great great group over there, and uh, you know, Jarrett and, and and the guys made some plays today. Josh, kind of a bigger picture mm -hmm. uh, question. Obviously, you're in a little bit of transition at quarterback. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of dust that needs to settle from that, but uh, would it be wrong to assume that he can factor his way into that whole picture? Yeah, I mean, I think it's um, it probably too early to have those discussions, but um, certainly, look, Jarrett's a young player, and uh, you know, he. I think everybody that's worked with Jarrett, I think Jarrett himself has to assume that his best football is going to be in front of him, and you know, so the you know the the way you improve is through experience, and you know, you have opportunities to compete against really good players and good defenses and good coaches. And, you know, you learn a lot from those experiences. And uh, I think he'll learn a lot from today, um, you know, and, and uh, you know, next week will be another opportunity uh, as we go forward. Hey, Josh, um, obviously you guys are ravaged with uh, defensive injuries this time of the year. Um, how hard was it, you know, figuring out w with all these new pieces where to put guys and, and how do you assess the performance on that side of the ball overall today? Yeah, I mean, I thought, look, I think there's, you know, we, we all know there's a number of, of guys that um, are out at this point. But, you know, um, you know, we had a week of practice, you know, they had a week of practice and uh, we were preparing uh, for what we what we thought we might get. And I thought our guys practiced hard and then went out there and played their butt off, you know, uh, wasn't always perfect. Again, it's a really good unit over there with a lot of talented players, really good offensive line. Um, you know, Kyle does a tremendous job, you know, of calling the game. So in the quarterback, obviously, we know he's a, a good young player. So, 
um, you know, I thought our guys hung in there, fought, battled, made some plays, gave us an opportunity. You know, that's all we can ask for is, uh, you know, we had the ball in overtime with a chance to win, you know. So, um, you know, I think that's the effort we were, we were hoping for, and that's the one we got. <clears throat> uh, Josh, when, when a quarterback change is made, it's not, not always guaranteed that the response from a team is, is going to be a positive one. But for the, the offense to go out there and put up 34 points today and, and collectively, you know, have such a good day, I think 500 total yards of offense, what does it say about the players that they stayed locked in and engaged no matter who was, was playing quarterback? Yeah, I've, I've never wavered on the, the character and resolve of our team. And, um, you know, we have a, a great locker room that, um, understands that, look, there's things, there's decisions that get made, you know, in, in this business. We all understand that. Um, we don't always have to like them, but, you know, if you do them the right way, you know, hopefully you can respect them. And I think they did. And, you know, you, you saw, I mean, we had a, again, nobody sees all that stuff. We had a really good week of work. And, um, you know, it, it, we translated that into at least a competitive effort today and gave ourselves a chance to win. So, um, you know, I, I, I would say credit them, but that's what they've been doing all year, and that did not change this week at all, not at all. Jared, there's some, or excuse me, Josh, there's some things that Jared might do that might be different than what Derek um, w was able to do. Uh, did that change a little bit on how, where you could go with your playbook? Not really. Um, you know, I thought, I thought he did a good job of, um, you know, he made some, he, he signaled some stuff today and, um, you know, created some opportunities for himself, which was great. Uh, to see. Um, but, you know, Derek had the same, you know, it, whoever plays quarterback for us is going to have the same opportunity. You know, if, if they learn the system and understand how to use it, uh, they had the same opportunities. Um, you know, we didn't really call the game radically different today than we would have um, otherwise. And I thought Jared took advantage of the opportunities that were presented to him. <clears throat> Josh, you said you don't count moral victories, but next week against Kansas City, a win would be basically a moral victory. For them, it may be an opportunity to be the number one seed in the AFC. How do you get your guys up for that to let them know? You know, it's still another game they got to go out and play. Yeah, I'm not. I like I said, I'm not worried about our guys in that regard. Uh, I think we have pros, you know, and we have great leadership, great captains. Um, you saw that today. I mean, you know, so um, you know, things change, things happen, injuries occur, you know. Sign guys, you know, to the to the roster. Bring guys up from the practice squad. I mean, none of that stuff matters at the end of the day. And it's the National Football League. We have a game. It's on the schedule. We're going to play our butt off, coach our butt off, and see if we can win it. You know, and I think we've done that all year. And I do not expect that to change next week. <clears throat> Good to go. All right. Thank you. Happy New Year. Hey, Jarrett. Um, I, I know you said all week you were confident in your abilities. You were just going to go out there and play. It certainly seemed like you were playing loose, but once you're in there in the moment, um, any nerves? Just How did it feel to uh, make your first start? Um, you know, I, I didn't feel like I had, you know, really any nerves um, at all this week. Um, you know, perspective has changed um, a lot over the years, and um, it's not worth stressing over um, and getting, you know, all uptight. So I just want to go out there and, and play free today and um, you know, try and try and facilitate the offense uh, in a way to win. Um, and you know, we just we just fell short a little bit. Jared, I know you were a top recruit coming out of high school, and obviously played a lot in college. But you had, you had to wait a while to get your first start in the NFL. Was it a process uh, to sort of maintain your confidence throughout these years where you didn't get that opportunity on game day? Yeah, for sure. I, th I think you know the thing about the NFL is everybody's a good player and everybody was probably the best player on their high school team growing up and um, probably the best, one of the best players on the college, on their college team, you know, through college. So, um, you know, my thing has always just been to, to work hard. Um, I don't know anything else. I don't know how to do anything other than, uh, you know, the hard way. So um, I've just tried to continue to just to stay grounded and, and who I am as a person and as a, as a player and, um, you know, just be ready whenever my number was called. So whether that's, you know, rookie year, second year, third year, or now, fourth year. So, um, yeah. Your, your feet were able today to extend plays, both running the ball and just getting out of the pocket. I'm just curious for you, did it, at what point did it feel comfortable? At what point did you feel like, okay, I, I'm over the jitters, I'm ready to go? Yeah, I mean, I honestly think um, – I mean, during the middle of that first drive, once we just kind of started moving the ball, 
consistently um, is kind of whenever I felt felt comfortable and um, just felt like I was ready to go. So it was uh, probably somewhere around there. And following up to that, your teammates really rallied for you. What did it mean? I watched them several times. They're hugging you. They're encouraging you. What did it mean to have those guys rally and fight for you? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's everything. Um, you know, playing playing on a on a team. Um, you know, football is the ultimate team sport, and uh, you know that's what that's why we play is to play for the guys in the locker room. You know, each and every week, and um, that, like I said, that's just the joy of of getting to play this game. You get to get to meet a lot of amazing people, um, coaches, players, support staff. Um, there's just so many, so many awesome people you get to, you know, go to work with every day, and uh, you grow close to. And I mean, I spend more time with these with these guys than I do my own family. So uh, you just get close, and you just want to, you know, you want to do everything you can to to make those people happy. So um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's tough the way that today went, but um, you know, I thought we fought extremely hard and, uh, until the end, obviously. Uh, we saw you connect with Devontae on a couple of uh, huge plays. It, had you guys kind of developed a rapport that we kind of hadn't seen behind the scenes, or is it just a case of, uh, you know, having a receiver, his uh, ability, trusting him to make a play? What did what, what you see on some of those? Yeah, obviously, I haven't, I haven't gotten the chance to throw to Devontae all that much throughout the year, but, um, you know, we worked hard this week in practice to, to try and get some timing, you know, between the two of us. And, um, yeah, I mean, he's, a, he's an amazing player, clearly. Um, and I just tried to... You know, put the ball, uh, you know, somewhere where he can get it and touch it, and um, you know that's my job as the as the quarterback is to facilitate the offense and get those guys the ball. So um, him, along with you know Darren Foster, JJ Hunter, Mac Key, I mean all those guys are they're tremendous football players, and um, happy I get to throw to those guys. Jared Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. Darren and Devontae said that they were not surprised whatsoever. Since back in April, you've been putting people in position knowing this system. Devontae also said after the game in the team meeting, you apologized that you didn't get the job done. And the team was like, hey, come on now. You balled out. Did, did you take this one personally? And, put, and you, Are you bur to sort of shouldering the burden of the loss yourself? Did you feel like that immediately afterwards? The ball's in my hands every play. Um, I'm the only one that gets touched every play. And, um, you know, unfortunately, there was – you know, two interceptions um, in the game and um, probably some things that I definitely could have done better, um, you know, to win. So, you know, obviously we're going to look at the look at the film, you know, tomorrow morning and and see, you know, what I could have done better. Um, definitely feel like I, I left some football out there on the field today. Um, but we're just going to keep grinding. And, we, you know, we got one more shot at this thing next week against the Chiefs. And obviously they're another good football team. So um, we're going to learn from this one and, and, and Get to work this week and and see if we can you know in the in the year the right way and how you know how we should so. Uh, Jerry, you seem like a pretty measured guy, but after some of the, the big plays out there today, you were, you were pretty emotive and, and fired up. Is there like a, a switch for you that flips kind of when kickoff happens and, and you get out there to where you, you you get a little bit more energized on the field? Yeah, I mean, I, ju I just try to play with emotion. Um, you know, never get too too high or too too low, um, but football's football is fun. I mean. We get to play football for a living, and you know if you're not excited and having fun with your teammates, then what are you doing? So that's how I look at it. You know, if one of my teammates makes a great play, you know I'm going to go celebrate with him, and um, that's just how I've always looked at it. I love playing with emotion, um, trying to rally the guys the best I can. Um, so that's what that's what I'm going to keep doing. Jerry, back over here with the Rebel Report. As a new leader of this team, how do you set that tone in the locker room, whether it be post game, whether it be practice leading up to the game, or on the sidelines. Yeah, I just be myself. Um, I don't try to be anybody um, that I'm not. Um, I've grown up a certain way, and um, like I said earlier, I'm just grounded in the in the kind of player and person that I am. So I just try to be myself and um, you know be genuine with the guys. Um, like I said earlier, playing with playing with a group of guys like this is uh, you know it's all you can ask for. You know that, that's the the beauty of of playing this sport. So I uh, just try to be myself. Willie Ramirez again with the Associated Press. Jarrett, uh, I'm not apologize if you answered this in some form, but as far as those first game jitters, those f that first drive, first minute, did it take maybe getting bumped, getting hit? Was it the first throw, first handoff? Wh at what point did you feel not only that your jitters were out, but they were on the same page with you with the system that you've 
sort of known for a while. Yeah, I think for me, it wasn't really a certain point or a certain thing that had happened. I just, uh, once we kind of got going through that first series and we were moving the ball, you know, pretty well, um, just felt just felt comfortable. So, um, and those guys obviously did a tremendous job today of, of battling and, um, you know, we were there for each other. And, uh, yeah, it was, like I said, it was, you know, tough to tough to end that way. Um, but we got, like I said, we got another another week here that we're we're all on the same page on how we how we need to finish the year. Thank you, guys.